Hello, welcome to episode two of Pete's Garden. In episode one, I said that uh, I would show you my allotment, and I didn't. So I'm showing you it in this one, towards the end of this video. In fact, I'm at the allotment now. Uh, but first, I'll show you something that I did inside the other day. Um, but thank you for watching. If you'd like to click subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. And roll tight. Now it's raining cats and dogs outside, um, or it's on and off anyway, so I'm not saying anything um, outdoors. Normally I sit out there on the bench doing it. Um, I'm going to be doing it indoors, but that is what I'm going to be sowing. Um, that thing there that looks like grass that's spiking up there. That is Welsh onion, and it normally grows um, quite strongly. It's died back a little bit at the moment, as you can see. But I'm going to grow another two or three pots of those. Look at the garden outside. It's all wintry and dark and bleak, but at least I can do something inside. Now... Welsh onion, Allium fistulosum, or whatever it's, fistulosum. There we are, it's a bit rude, but there we go. Um, now that Welsh onion that I uh, just showed you, the one that's in the garden, in a pot, I bought as a plant. So I've never actually sown these before, and it actually doesn't give all that many instructions on the packet about how to sow them. I'm using two pots because I only want two plants and I tend to um, sow a few in a pot and then um, thin out as necessary. And that's my mum coming back home halfway through the recording um, and uh, so there we are all I'm doing is because as I say they don't give much instruction on there so um, I'm just doing it like that it's moist compost mainly made up of uh, coir I think and uh, there we go I've got my labels and I've put P on there to tell me that it's a perennial so that I don't accidentally plant it in the garden or anything like that and they will now go in the little mini plastic greenhouse right so I better show you my allotment hadn't I um, it goes from there let me just there 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 where my hat is um, up to that next stick up to there across to that stick there and down to that stick there and it's and the camera's having trouble refocusing now so i took it on in june and it was all uh, like this like these other areas are these plots have yet to be filled shall we say um and it was dry as a bone i couldn't get the spade into it at all so um i just skimmed the grass off the top and um, watered what, what was underneath in order to bring all the weed seeds through so that I could then um, take the flowers off, take the seeds off and make sure they don't um, seed and I've also tried to take off the seeds of some of the weeds around as well. Um, you might think why am I not using a rotavator? Well that churns up all the annual weeds into eight different pieces and you end up with problems further down the line. It's much better to um, dig, I think. And also, um, part of the reason why I do gardening is because I'm trying to lose weight. Anyway, so this is what I'm calling bed one. This has actually been dug over twice since June. Each bed is going to get four diggings at least. 
before I plant or sow anything in there. Um, so this bed has had two. This bed over here, um, I know you can't really see that it's a bed because as I say I've allowed the weeds to come through and everything like that. Um, I also tried, knowing I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't get any decent results, um, but I tried to grow some Savoy cabbages which my neighbour Ian gave me, so thank you Ian if you're watching. And you know, um, in the knowledge that at least I'm going to get some leaves off them before I start sowing and planting uh, in probably February, March. Um, you know, I wanted at least some reward for um, six months of just coming down here and doing 20 minutes digging and weeding every now and again. There's one of the cauliflower plants. So I will pick those leaves uh, in a moment and show you as well, probably. Um, so this is bed two, and as you can see, this has been dug only once, and this will be the next bed to get a second digging. Um, the most recently dug beds, this is, I'm calling this bed number three, um, and again, it, you know, it had absolutely tons of prickly brambles in it, which I've got rid of now. So, you know, again, that's, that's, that's only had one digging. And so is this, and I've just completed this first digging of bed four today. So they now all have been dug at least once, and this one has been dug twice. So there we go. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think this year will be the year when we start to see the results of uh, my patient weeding and digging program. Right, so that is my first ever harvest from this particular allotment. Thank you for watching. Um, uh, I'll be back in the next week or two with episode three. Uh, if you'd like to click subscribe in the corner of the screen, that'd be great. Uh, and uh, like or comment or anything like that, let's get involved. Thanks very much. Bye for now.